Hello everybody, Eli the Barber coming right at you, giving you some, giving you some tips um, between, based on my experience, um, the pros and cons between both rental and commission. Um, if you are a barber or stylist that just graduated, just finished school and is ready to go out there get to work doing uh, doing hair um, it's better for you to do commission percentage usually um, uh, shop owners do the 60 40 or 30 70 and and um, once you start gaining clientele then um, you switch from percentage to booth rental. Um, if you have clientele, it's better to be on, on a booth rental than percentage. Percentage is more for like if you don't have clients and you're just growing on the business and you are new on the hair field, then you know. Um, usually, um, this is this is commission is something that uh, business owners don't like because you have to deal with numbers and, and you have to do math and, and um, um, sometimes the numbers are not matching between you as a barber and the owner of the shop and that brings problems okay tips has nothing to do with this okay don't I'm not even gonna talk about tips because this has nothing to do with this tips is separate your client gives you tips and he gives it to you personally sometimes they put on the credit card when they pay um, in the front um, that's fine the owner of the shop is gonna give you uh, the tip um, okay um, so that's separate has nothing to do with booth rental versus commission Okay, so I'm not even gonna bother on talking about that. Um, sometimes, so you won't sleep, okay, as a barber or stylist, so you won't sleep because you have to get clients. You have to go out there. You gotta, you, you gotta go out there and fish. Start fishing for clients. Get yourself known out there. Social media. Uh, create a Google page which is free create a Yelp page create a, a, a Instagram Facebook a Facebook page okay and, 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 and just just hustle okay hustle you gotta look for clients you, you, you gotta do something every day even if it's something small something has to be done every day there's no resting on growing and building clientele um, I do have a video on my channel on how to build clientele. Look for it, you'll find it, it's on my channel. It's right there. Um, it gives you a lot of tips, a lot of uh, advices based on my experience and, and um, that I'm sure is gonna help you on gain clientele. Sanitation, cleanness is very important, okay? Not just knowing how to cut, not just having talent no that's not it yes it's important to know it's, it's part of it but it's not the whole picture okay you have to be clean you, you have to know about sanitation um what can i say you know um if you start on the business and you have no client um and you're growing then it's better for you to be on a commission Okay, but as you grow, when you build clientele, eventually you're gonna be on a booth rental. And the owner of the shop, um, since nobody likes to deal with numbers, nobody likes math, nobody likes um, to be uneven on numbers, usually they tell you, listen, I'm gonna put you on commission for three or four months, but after that, you're gonna be on a booth rental, so, you gotta hustle, you gotta find clientele, you gotta grow, you have to 
get yourself known out there. I am not gonna help you. You're on your own, okay? Once you graduate, you're on your own. Everybody's on their own. This is a independent business. Everybody's on their own, okay? Yes, the owner of the shop might bring the newspaper or um, anything, you know, to promote the business and he might put you in it and he might even put your name in it, which is something good for you. It helps you. But at the end, you're on your own. Okay? So, um, eventually, you want to be on a booth rent and you want to grow. There is no stopping growing in this business. You never stop growing. You never stop learning. Okay, this is why I love this so much. And it's, I will never get bored with it. Because there's always something new to learn. And there's always changes happening. And you have to stay on top of it, okay? Um, that That's all I gotta say, you know. That's pretty much everything I know about the book rental and commission. Um, let's see. Uh, if you take a few days off and you're on commission, you you are not losing anything. Um, you just let the owner know that you're gonna take a few days off and you both will come down to an agreement. But if you are on a booth rental and you're taking a few days off, it doesn't matter, you still gotta pay the whole week. Unless you and the owner have some agreement going on okay and maybe he'll probably give you a break try to have a a good relationship with the owner of the salon or barbershop and not only with the owner but with the um your co-workers with everybody sometimes it's not easy because everybody's a different world not everybody's like you don't expect nobody to be like you either but somehow you have to blend in with everybody and you have to get along with everybody and that's everything out there there's mature people out there and immature people out there and, and you have to um, deal with both you know you, you want to have peace in your life okay so um, just keep the relationship very good. Um, always, if the time comes that you have to leave, I don't advise that to anybody. Every time you leave, you go down on, on numbers, on clients. It's almost like starting all over every time you leave. Um, not everybody follows you, okay? Yeah, there's a small group that follows you, but not everybody follows you. It's not recommendable for you to leave. Unless you really, 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 really have to, then you have no choice, okay? But um, um, whatever it takes, try not to leave, okay? You have to be an established barber. You have to be an established stylist, hairdresser. You have to be an established, okay? Um, Maybe someday you want to open your own business. And that's when your time to leave comes. And that's fine. Just make sure you leave on good terms. Never leave on bad terms. Because you never know if in the future you're going to need from them. Life is full of surprises. Don't you ever say you will never this and this and that. Because life is full of surprises. So, um... Booth rental. Once you have clientele, booth rental is for you. If you are starting in the game, you just graduated, or you move into a town that nobody knows you, commission is what's for you, okay? While you're growing. Once you grow and you build that clientele, that sort of clientele, then you can switch it up to booth rental. All right, that's all I got to say. I might miss something here and there. Leave a comment. Ask me whatever you want, and I will answer to you based on my knowledge, um, based on my experience. Um, 
hit thumbs up, subscribe, and sayonara. Thank you.